The first way to wear a scarf is the Parisian knot. A very classy looking scarf knot, it provides great warmth to the neck and is an awesome choice in colder weather. Fold your scarf in half widthwise, then fold it in half again lengthwise. Drape it over your neck and then bring the loose end through the hole formed by the folded end. Tighten the scarf around your neck and you're ready to go. This scarf knot works best with longer scarves. For thousands of years, militaries have used scarves to differentiate soldiers from what battalion and regiment they belonged to to what specific duties they had in combat. The second way to wear a scarf is the reverse drape cross. This knot works great for longer scarves. Drape the scarf over your neck and make one end longer than the other. Take the long end and bring it up and around your neck. Now cross the long end over the other end and bring it up and through the opening you just formed. Pull on the end to tighten if needed and you're done. 100 years ago, when open cockpits were standard, pilots wore a silk scarf around the neck to keep them warm and to prevent chafing. Now a fun method to tie your scarf is the fake knot. The fake knot is a great colder weather option that looks sharp with either a casual jacket or a formal overcoat. First, drape the scarf over your neck, making one end longer than the other. Take the long end, bring it behind and around itself to form a loop. Then take the end down and through the loop. Grab the other end of the scarf and bring it down and through the loop as well. Work the knot up to your neck by gently pulling on each end while sliding the knot up. Today, wool, cashmere, and even synthetic material scarves are primarily used for their ability to insulate the neck, keep it warm, while providing freedom of movement. The next method of tying a scarf is the twice around. The twice around is a great choice for freezing weather. Next to the four in hand, it's one of the warmest methods out there to wear a scarf, but it's very simple to tie. Again, it works best if you're using a longer scarf. Start off by draping the scarf over your neck. Make one end much longer than the other. Now take the long end and wrap it around your neck. Then repeat again and bring it around your neck a second time. Adjust if needed to completely cover your neck and you're all set for whatever the winter weather has in store for you. Scarves come in a variety of lengths. Shorter scarves are about 50 to 60 inches long. Standard length scarves are about 70 inches long and extra long scarves are about 82 inches long. Scarf widths are usually about six inches for men. If it's closer to 10 inches, it's most likely a woman's scarf. The next scarf tying method we're gonna discuss is the four in hand. The four in hand is another great option for long scarves. This knot protects the neck very well and is perfect for freezing weather. Because of the many folds, this knot is also one of the more intricate looking scarf knots. Like the Parisian knot, start by folding the scarf in half lengthwise and widthwise and then drape it over your neck. Take one of the loose ends and pull it through the loop formed by the folded end. Now twist the loop, then pull the other end through the loop. Continue to adjust the knot until it's sitting neatly around your neck. 